What is up guys, Jake from OneHive, and it is time for the next Live with OneHive attack video. And our boy Duce, you guys have seen him on numerous recap videos, uh, has stepped up, is gonna do one live for us. What's going on, Duce? Uh, not much, Jake. Just uh, looking forward to getting this attack done. Yeah, welcome, man. I'm glad you decided to do this. I know it's your first time. It's usually a little nerve-wracking, but uh, don't worry. Uh, I'm sure it'll go fine. You have chosen number 16 to clean up. Uh, so let's pull yep, it up that's here. Right. Well, there we go. Had a little lag there. Uh, 16, so here it is. You draw it out for us. Tell us what the game plan is, and then we'll, uh, we'll wish you luck, man. Okay, um, I'm coming in with a go-ho, basically, and obviously I need to get that multi-inferno down as quickly as I can. So uh, I'm not going to pull anything. Uh, I'm going to start out by dropping a couple minions right here just to start breaking that funnel. Uh, I do know there are bombs around the outside of the base because this is a cleanup attack. Uh, there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. So I'm going to drop three barbs to take out these three. Uh, obviously the one in the middle there, I'm not going to be able to get with the barb. So once I do that, I'm going to come in with two golems. Uh, I'm going to send the first one in basically this angle to trigger that bomb. Send the next one in basically from this angle. Start creating my funnel with a few more wizards, uh, basically here, here, and down here, and possibly one here, depending on what that minion does. I'll probably leave one there. I'll come in with a couple wall breakers to come in and try to bust right at the corner here. Then I am going to send my queen, my king, and a couple witches all up the middle here to try to get into this compartment. I'm going to bring a jump spell, basically jump right there so I can get to the queen and get to the core so I can get that multi down. I'll have a poison for the CC troops and I'm going to bring a rage right there just so I can start getting things down a little bit faster. Then I'm going to come in from the left with my hogs. Uh, I'm hoping this cannon goes down. If not, I'll drop a few extra hogs here and basically here and here to start moving this way. Hogs are going to start coming up. As they do that, I'm going to send more hogs in from this angle. Then I'm going to start healing. I'll have my first heal ready for them right about here. My second heal is probably going to be in this neighborhood, but depending on how everything's tanking, everything's moving, I'd like to save it a little bit later, um, but that's basically the plan. I like it, man. I think that, uh, you know, your hogs are going to do a lot of work because he's got some underlevel defenses, and I don't know where his spring traps are, but they definitely ain't between those those defenses, so uh, <laughs> exactly. you're not going to lose no any. no springs in the base. Yeah, you're not going to lose any unless you they just die from, you know, from damage, so that's going to be nice. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's a good plan. Yeah, let's, uh, let's run with it and see how all it goes. Right. Well, if you're ready, we are. We'll back out of here, and uh, we'll clear all this stuff out of the way. And, again, just uh, you feel free to, to talk all you want to, or if you're focused and quiet, no problem. We'll roll some music in. Uh, but best of luck to you, man. All right. Thanks, Jake.
Oh man, those barbs did not go well, but uh, <laughs> hopefully these hogs can make it through. Yeah, I, the only thing that concerns me, time. I mean, obviously the hogs have everything clear, taken care of at this point, uh, and you've got a lot of hogs left, so I think you're going to be okay. Uh, but it could be close oh, on time. Man, it's close. Yeah. Uh, the yeah the barbs. Are, I guess the bombs were just a little off, or the barbs just sort of pathed a little bit different than you thought they would, uh, and then losing your kill squad. Uh, oh, that wizard just smoked that bomb. <laughs> yeah, you needed that one gone. Oh, yeah. that hurt. This is going to be a time thing. I think you're going to you're going to have a high oh, percentage. Oh, no, that's one up there. Oh, man. Yeah, lost it. And there's uh, a, a random spring trap. Uh, man, just tough luck. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely crushed the base, though. I mean, there's nothing left besides just, you know, the town hall and some trash buildings. But uh, it's going to it's gonna be a time thing. Yeah, for sure. Don't I clean think, up on this one. Yeah, I think the plan was good. Nah, uh, you lost two. I don't know if you noticed that. You lost two wizards right away uh, to a giant bomb on the top side there because it didn't trigger. And then, you know, yeah, obviously there at the end. Yeah, so you know, you're talking about a lot of a lot of DPS that would have been going uh, for a while that that you ran out on there. Well, a ninety, what is it, ninety percent two star, or ninety percent one star? That's pretty tough. Let's watch the replay. We'll see if we can catch a few things that maybe could have been uh, improved on. Right here. All right. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I, I guess maybe that first barb and second one were just a little bit too low. Uh, only thing I can think of. Yeah. Yeah, right there's that. Yeah, that goblin got it. I don't know if maybe you just had it in your head a little bit, you know, a little bit different location than what they actually were on those side ones. Uh, yeah, I, I should have I should have sent that golem a little bit higher up to trigger that bomb too. Yeah, yeah. After that, that after that one. Yeah, because you'll watch here in just a moment as the second wizard uh, steps up here, uh, this bomb's going to get triggered right there, boom, and just wipes both of those out. So now that, that's a lot of trash that you would have yep. taken care of. They would have stepped up and possibly gotten that cannon even. Uh, but you know the kill squad does pretty well. I love the the, the uh, placement of the of the poison. Yeah, I love watching those archers just sort of walk into it and then you see that health go down and then boom, they're gone uh, before they even get out yep. of it. So that worked really nicely. Uh, the king yep. went down quicker than I thought he would. I don't know what was locked onto him besides the maybe everything was locked on him besides the, you know the inferno was on him. Obviously, uh, he might have got out ahead of that golem and just took the brute of it. But the queen locked on, boom, took out the expo. So that was really or, yeah the inferno. That was really what you were after there. Uh, I thought she was going to get the town hall too, but I guess her ability just ran off. Uh, again, the, oh, hogs, yeah, close. the hogs coming in were awesome because you weren't losing any hogs at the start. I thought, man, he's got this because you had so many hogs. Uh, working their way through the base. You know, you lost a couple to that single Inferno, but that was it. Uh, besides that, they were just rolling through this thing. That second heal would, might have been just a little bit too far Yeah, up. just a little bit low. Yeah. Just then they a, went back to that expo. Yeah, just a little bit because uh, you might have lost like one or two hogs just them standing right on the edge of that. But, you know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like just, oh, my God, what, what do you do with that heal? And they're coming down here the last few. I guess you're losing a few here at the end. I think you hit a spring trap. As soon as they get past it, we'll start to fast forward a little bit because uh, as soon as they get these last two defenses down, you come over here and then, uh, let's see, I think you lose at least one to a spring trap right here. Yep, one goes there, use a few to a giant bomb, and just ran out of time. Again, it was a good attack. Uh, it was a good plan, I think. It just, uh, you know, too many small things and its a cumulative effect uh, it resulted in the one star 90% though, so. Ah, you know, I gave it a shot, man. That's it's, right, uh, man. Well, that little thing, especially against the Town Hall 10, it's a, it's a tough run. It's weird because it's like the guys that come on and do the live attacks. If one of them uh, doesn't get a three-star, then the next few are almost like it's their curse. They don't get the three-star. Uh, so <laughs> we have to have someone come on and break this curse so we can see some more three-stars. But again, man, nice attack. Thank you for coming on and doing it. I know the guys out there will enjoy it. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jake. Appreciate it. You bet. Until next time, Jake and Duce from One Hive reminding everybody, suck less.